In this video, we're going to look at changing the subject of a formula. So here's a question that says make B the subject of the formula. What that means is get B by itself. Make the formula B equals something. So to make B the subject of a formula, we need to get B by itself. At the moment, B is with C and it's plus. So it's B plus C. To get rid of a plus, we do the opposite, which is take away. So we take away C from both sides. And that gives us A minus C equals B. And so B is now the subject of the formula. We can write it the other way around. B equals A minus C. B is the subject of the formula because it's in the form B equals Here's another question again, we're going to make B the subject of the formula. So we need to get B by itself. We've got a minus C this time. To get rid of a minus C, we do the opposite, which is plusing C. So we plus C to both sides of the equation. So on the left side, I've got A plus C, which is just A plus C. And on the right side, I've got 2B. So I need to get rid of the 2 as well. I need to get B by itself. The, at the moment, we've got 2 times B. 2B means 2 times B. And to get rid of a times, we do a divide. The opposite of times is divide. So we divide both sides by 2. And that leaves us with A plus C over 2 equals b and we can write that the other way around if we want b equals a plus c over 2. again make b the subject of the formula so this time i've got a equals 5b squared over a i'm going to get rid of this divide by a first and to get rid of a divide by a, the opposite of divide is times. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a. So on the left, I've got a times a. And a times a, we can write as a squared. And on the right, I've now got 5b squared. I need to get rid of the 5 next. So to get rid of a 5, a times 5, We've got 5 times b squared. To get rid of the times, we do a divide. So I divide both sides by 5. So I've got a squared over 5 equals b squared. And now I need to get rid of a square. The opposite of squaring is square rooting. So I square root both sides to get rid of a square. So b equals the square root of a squared over 5. And again, I can write that the other way around as b equals the square root of a squared over 5. And here's another one. Make a the subject of the formula. So I've got p equals f over a. So I want to get A by itself. I don't like it on the bottom. So I'm going to start by multiplying both sides by A. I'm going to get rid of the divide by doing a times. So on the left, I've got P times A, which is AP. And on the right, I've just got F. I want to get A by itself. I've got A times P. I'm going to get rid of the P now, and I'm going to divide both sides by P, which leaves me with A equals F over P. Okay, here's three questions. Make X the subject of the formula. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, question one. 
So I need to get X by itself. The first thing I need to get rid of is this, is this 5. It's a plus 5. So I get rid of it by taking 5 away from both sides. So Y minus 5 equals 2X. And to get X by itself, I divide both sides by 2. Which leaves me with X equals Y minus 5 over 2. Question 2. Y equals 2 over X. I don't want X on the bottom, so the first step multiply both sides by X. Which makes, makes it X, Y equals 2. So I've got X times Y at the moment. I need to get rid of the Y. So the opposite of times is divide. So X equals 2 over Y. Divide both sides by Y. And finally, Y equals 5X squared over A. To get rid of the divide by A, I times both sides by A. So A Y equals 5X squared. I've got 5 times X squared. So to get rid of a times by 5, I divide both sides by 5. So A Y over 5 equals X squared. Now I need to get rid of the squared. Opposite of squaring is square rooting. So I square root both sides. So x equals the square root of a y over 5.